This is a clip from our documentary, Ruckus. The full movie is available for free on this platform. Just click the link in the description to watch the full thing. My expectation is that this will be an extremely productive and exciting year for this city council and for the people of Burlington. Welcome aboard. Today, I am proud to announce my candidacy for President of the United States of America. So in late 2014, early 2015, I was introduced to Bernie Sanders through my global economics teacher. Um, you know, he was getting a little bit of traction because um, first there were whispers of him running and we were all New Yorkers, so we didn't really understand why that was such a big deal. And she like explained to us who Bernie Sanders was and what a revolutionary he was. And then he announced his candidacy and I remember there was Bernie fever. There were all these memes. He was trending on social media. So I, I, I was like, okay, I'm all for Bernie. You know, he seems to be an outsider of the establishment. I, you know, I had anti-establishment fever at the time. Our message has resonated much faster, much further than I thought it would. And, uh, you know, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I think Bernie Sanders is my guy for president. I think we are touching a nerve with the American people who understand that establishment politics is just not good enough. We need bold changes, we need a political revolution. I started the election season as a Bernie bro, and I ended as a Trump voter. How stupid are the people of Iowa? How does that happen? Somebody hits me where the belt's going in because the belt moves this way. It moves this way. It moves that way. Well, like I was saying, I. I had anti-establishment sentiments. I knew Hillary Clinton was a bitch, just to put it straightforward. Senator Sanders wasn't really a Democrat until he decided to run for president. He doesn't even know what the you know, last two Democratic presidents did. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, well, it's true. It's true. You know it's true. I knew she was evil. Um, and, uh, you know, I was like, Bernie's my guy. And then he lost the primary. Make him go. And then it gets revealed in the WikiLeaks emails that Hillary Clinton conspired to get him out of the race. You're back in the news, of course, because WikiLeaks uh, released thousands and thousands of emails from the Democratic National Committee. And there was like inner establishment in the Democratic Party working against one of their own people to get Hillary Clinton the nomination. Do you think this is fair game? Well, it, it, it was definitely good fun. And I was just so pissed off at that. I was like, what the hell? Like, okay, what happened to, quote, democracy? You know, you guys got to fight for the nomination. You can't play dirty. You can't play unfair. What, what is this? And then what really pissed me off was that Bernie didn't want to fight it either. He then endorsed Hillary Clinton. I was like, how do you get fucked in the ass and then bend over for them again? They're like, come on. Sorry, is that okay for me oh, to... Oh, yeah, no, that's great. Yeah, okay. That's, that's very on-brand. You've seen our show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, he gets fucked in the ass, and then he bends over again and says, please, sir, can I have some more? I want to thank Bernie Sanders. I didn't really know what to believe. I was kind of disillusioned in the whole electoral politics system. That's kind of when I realized, like, there's no real democracy in this country anymore. If you can just conspire to do that and get away with it too. So I look over at the Republican side and I see this guy Trump who announces and I'm like, okay, well the media hates him. Hillary hates him. Fuck it. I like this guy because everybody hates him. And so as I'm becoming like politically awakened and I'm seeing all the injustices around the world, I'm seeing the injustices here in the country, I'm just thinking, well, Maybe anything is better than what we have now on the virtue that because he's not them, maybe it'll be a net positive instead of a net negative. Donald J. Trump will become the 45th president of the United States, defeating Hillary Clinton in a campaign unlike anything we've seen in our lifetime. Do I regret supporting him? No. 
I don't regret supporting him. I am glad that he beat Hillary because I think the events that have transpired in Ukraine would have just happened four years earlier had Hillary Clinton won. So it was kind of a delay in that. When he sanctioned Venezuela, that was a pretty big no-no for me. And then he killed Soleimani, and that was another big no-no for me. When he lost the election, I was like, okay, well, maybe he'll pardon Assange and Snowden. Because he was saying he would pardon them. Didn't happen. And then there was word that Bill Barr kind of convinced him not to. And that was like the final, like, okay, you know what? I can't believe I let all of this slip by. You killed Soleimani. You uh, put these sanctions on Venezuela that starved thousands of people there. Um, and you didn't even pardon Assange and Snowden, which you said you would do. And that to me was kind of like the final nail in the coffin where I don't trust anyone anymore. Please clap.